right, let's solve some linear equations. So a linear equation is one where the variable appears, um, it doesn't have any exponents on it, it's not in the denominator, right? You just want, you know, x's with no crazy stuff. There's no square roots, there's no, nothing like that, okay? So um, we're gonna just start by solving linear equations and the way you wanna sort of think about this is you wanna distribute, combine like terms, x is on one side, numbers on the other side. So those are the three steps we're going to say sort of over and over again. Distribute, combine like terms, x is on one side, numbers on the other side. So if we start with number one, there's no distributing that needs to happen. We don't have any parentheses in number one. So we're going to move on to step number two, combine like terms. On the left-hand side, all the like terms are combined. We only have one term with x in it, one term with constants. Same thing on the right-hand side, so done. So the last step we're going to do is put x's on one side and numbers on the other side. It doesn't matter which side you choose to put the x's on. If you wanna always put the x on the left, go for it. If you wanna just, you know, change it up every time, that's fine. So I'm gonna start by subtracting two x from both sides. When I do that, the x's on the right-hand side are gonna go away, because two x minus two x makes zero. So the left-hand side, I have five x's minus two x's makes three x plus four equals negative five. Okay, so I want x's on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'm gonna subtract the four to make it move to the other side. And again, the four and the minus four go away. So the right hand, left hand side looks like three x. Negative five minus four makes negative nine. Okay, so now I have x by x and negative nine. I need to divide by three to get that x all by itself. And so I have x equals negative nine divided by three is negative three. You can check your answer by plugging that x value you got back into your equation for all the x's. So let's check our answer for this one, check. So I have five times negative three plus four equals two times negative three minus five. And we're checking to make sure that's true. So we're just gonna plug that in our calculator. Five times negative three minus four. Type it in your calculator just like it looks there. And we get negative 11. And then two times negative three minus five gives me negative 11. Yay, they were the same. Okay, so let's try another one. So in number two here, you see that we have these parentheses. So I wanna start by doing some distributing. And so I'm gonna distribute that negative two to both terms inside the parentheses. So negative two times three x makes negative six x. Negative two times negative one makes positive two, plus x is 14 minus x. And notice the only thing I changed about my equation was the distributing part, the parentheses part. So now I'm gonna combine like terms. On the left-hand side, I have two terms that have an x in it. So I'm gonna combine them together. So negative six x plus one x makes negative five x plus two is 14 minus x. So now this looks a lot like the example we just did. Put the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So I'm gonna move the x's to the left by adding x to both sides. I have negative five x plus x makes negative four x plus two is 14. I'm gonna put the numbers on the other side by subtracting two from both sides. So negative four x is 14 minus two makes 12. And then the last piece, I wanna get x all by itself. So divide both sides by negative four. And I'm left with x equals 12 divided by negative four is negative three. And again, if you wanna check, you can take it and plug that x into every place you see it. So plug three, negative three into x there in all three of those spots. Okay, let's do one more example. This one looks a little bit more intricate because it has a lot more distributing and combining. So I'm gonna start by doing the distributing. So I'm gonna take do the six here and the negative six on this term. So six times x makes six x. Six times negative six makes negative 36. I'm not gonna change any term that didn't have distributing. Uh, negative six times negative five x makes 30 x. Negative six times six makes negative 36 minus eight x. So now I'm gonna combine like terms. On the left-hand side, I have two terms that are just numbers. And on the right-hand side, I have two terms with x's. So the left-hand side looks like six x 
and I do minus 36 minus 2 gives me negative 38. You can put that in your calculator, right? Negative 36 minus 2. Okay, on the right-hand side, I have 30x's minus 8x's is 22x minus 36. Okay, so here we are back to x's on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 22x. I just normally always put my x's on the left-hand side. You could choose to subtract 6x if you want and put your x's on the right. That would be fine. Okay, so 6x minus 22x makes negative 16x. Again, you can put that in your calculator. 6 minus 22 minus 38 is negative 36. Okay, I have to move the numbers to the other side, so I'm going to add 38. Remember, we're always doing the opposite. So if it was subtracted, you add. If it was added, you subtract. So the left-hand side is negative 16x. Negative 36 plus 38 makes 2. My last step is to get x all by itself. So divide by negative 16. And that gives us x equals negative 2 over 16. If you put this in your calculator, you should be able to simplify it. Um, it'll simplify for you if you're using Desmos. You can just hit the little fraction button that looks like this over on the side and it'll change it into negative one eighth. Normally we like to leave answers in terms of fractions um, unless it specifically tells you to put it as a decimal.